Hey guys, we're doing another hired request today. It's the 14th hired request. It's a song by Skid Row called 18 in Life. It's again another arrangement with melody in the right hand. A lot of you like that. So the person that hired me wanted me to do it that way and, and had a cover for me to go off of. If you want to listen to what the arrangement that I'm doing, just do a YouTube search for Skid Row 18, the number 18, and Life piano cover. It sounds like this. Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Listen, I'll do the rest of the whole thing on webpianoteacher.com. It's a great arrangement. Take uh, it took a long time to do the lesson. I don't remember how many minutes it was, but it feels like it was well over an hour of lessons. Do the whole thing. We do you know all the parts with the melody in the right hand. Really neat arrangement with some neat kind of scale, Bruce Hornsby stuff at the end. Uh, just listen to the video on YouTube and you'll see what I'm doing. But anyway, I do the rest of the lessons on webpianoteacher.com as well as many other thousands and thousands of lessons on my website. I even have 50 lessons for beginners, if you're a complete beginner. Have blues lessons if you want to learn how to improvise, playing in a blues style. Just classic rock, TV themes, uh, video game themes, uh, my own arrangements of a lot of things, just y you name it. But anyway, let's get to this part one here. This is uh, a pretty cool little piano solo deal. So let's take a look. We're going to start with uh, left hand on a low C sharp, and I know that's kind of in the way of the keyboard, but I had uh, I, I do the part ones last now, so I had this whole board is full full of notes, and then another board full of notes uh, to do it. But this is line one, low C sharp, and then we're going to have a high C sharp on the thumb later, right there. And then we're going to come back down low and go da da da. So C sharp, D sharp, low. You can do that with four or five if you're able enough. You know, if you if you have a good enough technique. If you don't, you can do three, two, three or something. But that's the left hand. Low C sharp, high C sharp, and back to da da. Then we're going to repeat and, and do it again. But let's take a look at the right hand first. It's going to be E and C sharp with five and three. And then I'm going to do D sharp, B, F sharp with four, two, one. So, bum, bum, ba, da, da. so here's how it goes left hand first, right, right, left, right, 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 left, left. Let's do it again. Now I have my little symbol dot to dot. It saves me space on the board when there's a repeat. So all that means is play from the first dot to the second dot. Here's the first dot at the beginning, the second dot ends right there. So let's follow these directions here. That's it. And then we're going to go B. That's it. We're just going to play a B there. So let's go from the beginning to that far. Here we go. One. When you practice, make sure you practice in small groups. Play one box, one measure, get it down, and then learn the next measure, get it down, then tie them together like a chain. Try box one, box two. Don't move on to the third one until you can kind of play those two together. It doesn't have to be faster up to speed, but you do need to be able to get through it before you try the third one. Then what do you do? Try the third one, get it down, try the fourth one, try to tie it together to where you can play four boxes consecutively. Okay? But let's go on. Uh, another dot to dot. So here's the second set of instructions. So go back and play from this dot to this dot. Let's do it. And then we're going to do this. A little chromatic scale. Chromatic means uh, you know every note, whether it's black or white, going up or down. So it's F sharp, G, then G sharp, and then A. Fingering that, you can go 4, 3, 2, 1. Or you can go 3, 1, 3, 2, or 3, 1, 3, 1. Just whatever feels good to you. There. Okay? Now let's let's go, let's do that much from the beginning to make sure you get all the directions. Here we go. 1. B and go back. See that? Now when you paddle that, make sure you don't go the pedal down, it's going to blur, so don't hold the pedal down. Lift the pedal up and put it back down for that angle. Then we're going to do this. So, A, B. Now, A there. 
my, see my little triangle there? That's for later on. I already raced uh, the rest of the board, but I had triangles because we're going to repeat this part later on, okay? So be ready for those of you who get on the website and go further. And, and just for your information, the website does not have recurring charge. Once you sign up, it's not going to keep charging every month. You have to sign up again when you want to do it. So it's kind of nice that uh, the site does that. You don't, you don't get charged automatically. All right, so A, and then we're going to do E, and, the, and it does work on iPad and iPhone, all mobile devices. The My website will work on it. So E, and then we're going to play B and E with, uh, let's see, 3 and 5. Or 2 and 5, whatever you like. I like 3 and 5. And then we're going to play a B, and then we're going to do F sharp, and then we're going to play B and E together with 2 and 5. And when we do that, we're going to play a G sharp on the left hand there. So we have 1 and 2. beginning and tie it together, right? That's what I always want you to do. Go back and tie it together. Can you play the beginning that far? Here we go. And one. Okay, now we're to this. We're after this double bar. So we're going to continue here. Alright, and I just love this... Uh, online job. I don't want to be famous on YouTube. I don't care how many views I have. I don't I don't want, you know, just enough to to make a humble living. That's kind of how, how it's working out for me and I hope it continues. So, you know, the money I make from the, the hired requests like this one and then, you know, people buy memberships to the website. It keeps me going. So left hand on a C sharp and then the right hand does E C sharp and then a higher C sharp on the left hand. Then we're going to go D sharp, B, F sharp. So it's one, two, three, and four. And then we go la la la. We're back down low. C sharp, D sharp, C sharp. Da da da. And then E, C sharp. And then left hand higher C sharp. And then we're going to do this. So it's similar to what we've been doing, but a little bit different. Look at the left hand there. It goes B, C sharp, D sharp. And you're going to play that in conjunction here with the right hand like that. So it goes da 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 and then right, left hand goes in the gap, and then the D sharp by itself. Now together, together, and then the left hand plays the last D sharp. So let's start right here with a da 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 and go ba ba ba. Don't pedal that either. Here's a rule on pedaling. Whenever you're playing really low notes that are close to one another, you cannot pedal those, it'll blur. See that? If you play up high and pedal, it, it's okay, it doesn't bother us, but if you have, especially when you get towards the middle of the piano and low, oh, you cannot pedal that. You gotta lift up the pedal, wait till you get the C sharp, and then put the pedal back down. So starting there again, pedal, pedal. Okay, most people pedal too much. People wonder, how, how, how do I know how to pedal? Most people who've never had instruction pedal way too much. You gotta change the pedal more often, and then sometimes not use it, depending on the situation, okay? So let's go from the double bar to the end. One. All right, and then uh, the rest of the lessons I've already done, they're on webpianoteacher.com, or they will be tonight. You know, it takes, it takes them a while to upload and, and uh, to get where they're, they're showing up on the links and everything. So by late tonight, they'll all be, all be set on the website. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you later.